Okay, get up there. But I don't have a stirrup to put my foot in. Oh yeah, I need to. So Sophie's got a big audience for her lesson. She's like, this is the best lesson ever. You're good. Keep walking. Lean back on your tush. Good girl. That was a pretty good spook, eh? No, she kicked him. She kicked him. Oh. Got him in trouble. Oh, good for you. That's exactly it. That's what he needs every time. Sophie's going to bite him if he's bad. Like Willow. Try to keep your hands up. When you want him to turn, Sophie, I want you to try something a little different. I want you to try just squeezing your rein instead of pulling it. So just leave it where it is. Look at me. Leave it where it is and just squeeze it every time. Like six or seven to make one turn. Keep your hands right here, up in front of you. Now, start squeezing your right rein. Don't pull it, just squeeze. Squeeze, now left leg. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. There you go. Wow. Squeeze, 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 left leg. Good girl. So he isn't used to the bit. What's the combination? But the difference between when you use the bit and when it's ignorance is that is using the bit. The shaking, is ignorant. Yeah, that's what I think too. Then he mixes the two together and it's like, hey, smart enough. Yeah. You so should have brought popcorn. Stella would have loved some popcorn. You started a fire Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is thrown off Can you whistle? Okay, every time he tosses his head, I want you to put one leg on and whistle. You're gonna go. Every time. Yeah, good job. Then eventually we'll lose the kick and we'll just have the whistle, but we gotta start with both in the beginning. <laughs> Your whistler died? I have a clicker. You can make a different noise, whatever noise you want to make. You can shh, shh. Make that noise. Okay, use your heel and give him a shh when he's tossing his head. It's just something to get his attention. He just needs to be focused. Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a stairway down for the both of us so people have been saying that when he does a turn that's when he does the worst head shaking so it's because of the reins right because yeah. she's using the reins so squeeze and leg squeeze and leg whenever you want to turn and use your legs not your reins you're just going to squeeze the rein that's turning and just going to keep doing this until he gets where you want him to go and squeeze with the outside leg yeah good girl oh i know Stella. he's like i wish i was with you that was like, I wish I could save you. That's not bit. Yeah, that's him saying, I don't want to do this. Let's go. 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 Good job. Somehow in this small play, mine's begin. Straight down the wall. Straight to the corner. See, right now, now he's too busy. There. Look up. Now, right leg turn. Good work. Yeah, he gets thinking and then he's fine. Left leg straight down the wall. So we're not ready to take him for a trail ride, right? Right leg turn. Except for on a, lead, on a, on a 
If she's riding Stella and you're, she's riding and you're leading her, I think that would be very beneficial. Okay. 100%. You dropped my cozy. I don't know why you're coughing so much, though. Your hand is not dusty. Yeah, he only does it when he rides. Oh, no. He might be a candidate for a month of, um... It's okay. Or a week of recipe free, just to help clear his lungs. Okay. It could just be old um, debris from the round bale, burying his face in the round bale. Um, change your eyes straight down the wall. He wants to cut this corner every time. We don't want to let him. That's it. Now look up and push him through. Good work. Who knew you could go so fast in such a tiny space? Now go straight. Not a girl. He does not want to be a Western Pony? No. That's why he's perfect for you. You know what? He is so safe, Sophie. And he's going to teach you a lot because, no, he's not perfect. Change your rising. You don't want a perfect pony. Change your rising. There you go. Because if you have a perfect pony, halt. If you have a perfect pony, then you're not going to learn anything. This way, he's going to teach you. You're going to grow and become a better, stronger rider because you're working with him. Not Safely. Safely, that's... Safely. Okay, back into your truck. Make him work. See how he started shaking his head when Go you stopped? Way. Turn right. Or turn left. When everyone is too fake Your hope eventually sinks Cause I don't know Don't touch his mouth. Hands up and don't touch his mouth. That's it. It's a good pace. This is not fast. This is not slow. This is, we got a good clip going on here. So you know you want him to slow down right there, right? Without stopping. What I want you to do is I want you to just tighten your thighs up a little bit and tell him easy. Yeah. Ah, see, he slowed right down, didn't he? Pick your hands up. So instead of grabbing his face like you want to do, I want you to think about finding a different method. Tighten your thigh a little bit, hands up. And easy. Good, was that better? That's excellent. He's gonna teach you that you don't need your hands to balance. You can use your body and your legs. Hands up, get them off your thighs. He doesn't like when the reins bounce around and when your hands are down, the reins bounce. When you carry them up in front of you, they're steadier. See how low they are on his neck? Lift them up for your belly button. Hold them up there. Keep them up there. Keep them up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Yeah! Look, he didn't toss his head at all in that corner. Keep them up. That's it. Beautiful job letting him take those reins. That's okay. Just make a smaller circle. That's it. That's a wall, dude. <laughs> See, these are the reasons we're going to be trotting for a while. He needs to be able to do this perfectly before we allow him to canter. Now pick those hands up, push them forward a little bit. Yes, look where you want to go. Just look. 
Yeah, and then you barely have to touch him. That was beautiful. Hands up. Tell him easy. Gorgeous turn. Going up the wall, I want you to stop or go to a walk. So you're going to sit, breathe out, and say easy. And walk. Wow, that Good was job. fabulous. Good figure. Empty hands halfway up and pull hard. Whoa. That's way. There, good job. Now this time when you do it, instead of pulling gently, I want you to give it a little bump. So reach up with your left hand and bump. Bump. Well, I heard, man. There, can we back away from you? Perfect, now swing and send him away. That's it. So you notice you stood your ground and he didn't run you over, did he? He backed right up. That's exactly what you want. Take your empty hand, reach up, give it a bump. Bump. Now swing. Nope. Don't move. Yes. This is your homework, okay? Go one more time. Empty hand, bump, and bump again. And swing. Good job. And the last time you do it, you're just going to ask him to go and sit still and back away from you. So reach up, bump up. And then step towards him and click. Yep, bump up. You want him to go backwards. Keep bumping. Keep bumping that rope. Keep bumping that rope.